So I'm going to Dremel him off right here. You see where the shoulder comes up? I'm just going to zip it like that and then zip it like that. And we're going to put on some different arms on this character. Putting it on low speed. And same for the other side. Okay. And I'm just going to go right across here. Okay. I've got some birds here I'm just going to take care of, and then uh, we'll get started with the next step of putting on some arms. Tried using the heat gun for this. Uh, didn't work. So what I'm trying to do is I picked up a piece of uh, paper clip. I just straightened it out reasonably well. It's the thinnest paper clip I could find. Um, I was looking to see if I could drill, pre-drill a hole, because what I want to do is I want to put this through here. So when I build up the arms with the green stuff, I've got some uh, skeleton to go for. So basically all I want to do is I want to take it here and just push it through. So I tried heating this up with a heat gun, but um, that spreads the heat a little bit too far. So and again, I have to push this about halfway through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing nice and toasty. It should melt on its way in here. I don't know, I got a feeling this is going to end up in a bloopers reel too. Hmm. I don't think I'm getting much of anything in here. The other trick is try to go in straight because uh, at least with the heat gun what I did is I ended up softening up the plastic on the player too. Um, but instead of going straight through to the other shoulder blade I actually came out is back, which is probably where I'm going to come out here too. And there it is, I came out as back again. What a dork. Remember the thing I told you about don't be smoking, don't be uh, breathing that burnt plastic? Well, here I go. Hey, what do you know? Second try is a charm. Ah, you stupid. There we go. Melt a little bit here, melt a little bit here. It's like uh, sort of a Halloween figure at this point. But uh, so once this cools a little bit, I'm just going to press the figure down. And that could be patched. That's pretty easy to do. All right. So what I decided to do is make this guy into a blitzer figure, where he's got you know like he's going to rush the quarterback. He's putting his arms up. He's dried nicely. It doesn't move that much. The limit for a figure is you can only overhang the front of the base. I mean, this is just a platform, so maybe the base comes out another millimeter. Uh, you can only overhang the front by eight millimeters, or eight tenths of a centimeter. And this guy, when I line him up, and I you gotta look straight over, it's a full millimeter over. So um, that's not a big deal because I may end up trimming these. The other thing is I could actually cut him off of his platform and move him back. I think I've got probably a five good millimeters, maybe four good millimeters, I could move them and still have them solidly on the base. And if you look at the balance, um, assuming these are going to be about as thick, you know, close to the thickness of his legs, um, the weight, the center weight looks like it's about here. So if I move them back to here, the center weight is still over center. So 
um, not worried about that. The next thing is to get the uh, the green stuff, what they call nitatite, and build up these arms little by little. Um, I kind of hesitate doing a video on this because I am terrible at uh, using that stuff. Anyway, I watched a few videos on people who know what they're doing, so we'll see if I learned anything. It comes uh, here, nitatite, blue and yellow. You get one of these, and you get one of these. Um, basically, just a two-part epoxy. And you take off a little piece and of each and you mix it together. Actually, I'm going to wet my fingers with water. Stuff is great for getting into your uh, fingerprints. So you take roughly equal portions. You don't have to be uh, religious about it. It's just uh, close enough. What we're going to do is we're going to take some and wet my fingers a little bit so it doesn't stick to them so much. I'm just going to mangle this. So. While I'm doing that, I want to show you, here's uh, a figure that you're all very familiar with. It's this guy, uh, low arm runner. What I did is I took a Dremel and I cut him in the armpits to basically free up his arm. You see how the plastic comes all the way into here? And so what I did is I released it near the top of the shoulder and then I used my heat gun to reshape this. So this is this guy. So here I'm mangling this. And you want to make sure you keep kneading it until it's really a uniform color. That's how you know that you've done it enough. And what you're going to do is you're going to let this thing sit for a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Right now it's uh, very soft. See how it's turned into a uniform green color? And the other thing is when you have a tool that you're going to use to, you know, smush it around in place and all that, uh, wetting the tool periodically is good. So, um, anyway, with this guy, I just wanted to show you because I was going to, this is way more than I need, so actually I'm going to go pull some of the other figures I have that need uh, filling in. But here, I'm just going to fill in his armpits here. I've got a big gouge. Um, now this guy, this is going to be a real cool project. So what I've done here is I've got my phone acting like a calculator here. Measure my, my massive bicep here. Okay, just measuring the diameter. Plug in that divided by my height and multiply it by this guy's height. Okay, times 40. Okay, perfect. So what I want to do is I want to model this guy after me. Actually, if I file down the biceps, he'd be exactly like me. That's going to be perfect. You know what? Maybe I'll make him look like a football player instead. So, just like those guys in those videos, I'm tap, tap, tapping away. Pressing, so let's see, I fix his arm up a little bit, fix his armpits. Okay, so those are repair jobs. This one's a little bit different. This one I'm building up the skeleton. So the reason I did the um, paper clip is because if you put on just arms in this angle, you know, you put on a bunch of this stuff, um, it's fragile. And by that I mean You've got your figure, you've got this green stuff, you've got a boundary right there, and it just snaps off at the boundary. Okay, so I'm trying to build this up. So this uh, not only will guide the shape, but also makes it so I don't have to make this such a huge, huge bicep like I'm out right now. I can make this much thinner just as long as I cover up the wire. But without the wire you have to make it significantly thicker. There's no way I'm making fingers out of this, so um, what I've done for some guys is just take the pliers, the serrated pliers, and just press it. You know, the serrations kind of look a little bit like fingers. So you see how it's shaping up already. It's uh, pretty reasonable looking already. 
to think the more I work on it, the better it's going to get, but uh, I kind of know my artistic limitations. Try to create, uh, you know, elbows and biceps and whatever, but uh, man's got to know his limitations, and I know what mine are. And remember, there's that hole in the back that I created when the uh, when the paper clip went through his back. This is why I didn't want to. This is why I hesitated putting uh, me doing green stuff on video because I'm really not that good at it. But uh, you get the general idea, and uh, certainly won't be any worse than me when it, what you, whatever you try. All right, so it's not a bad figure. I'll snip off the arm when I figure out what the proper length is, but uh, not too shabby.